Hello Sustainable Growers, today we're going to see why is the flesh of the trout we grow in aquaponics white. So if you are growing some trout in aquaponics, you may have noticed that the flesh of the fish is very white. And when you buy trout in the shop, you buy a trout with a pink flesh. So there is a difference here and you may wonder why is there such a difference? Uh, is it bad to eat trout with a white flesh and how can I have them becoming pink? In the natural environment, the trout can get the flesh that is going to turn pink if they got some uh, little crustaceans in the environment. So basically it depends on the food they're going to eat. In aquaculture, to get a nice pink fle uh, flesh, we put some colorant into the food. So basically they use some carotenoids that they put into the, the food, into the fish food. So astaxanthin is one of the colorants that, that is used in aquaculture. There are different types of colorants that are used uh, to get the fish the color that you want. And then depending on the quantity that is into the food, uh, the fish is going to get a really pink color or a bit less. So there are some different markets. For example, I used to work uh, in, uh, in Europe, in, uh, in trout farms in Europe, when we had some fish for, the, for Switzerland, for the Switzerland market, in Switzerland most of the trout they are sold uh, with a white flesh. Same for Germany. Uh, so for some reason the, the market there is used to eat uh, <laughs> some fish with a white flesh, while in, in France and in a lot of other countries, in Australia and in America, we like to eat the trout with the pink flesh. So it's really, the, really just a, a requirement from the, from the customer. Uh, the customer is used to a certain color and therefore the, the farmers are trying to just fulfill this market with the correct color. Uh, but the reality is that normally if you, if you grow your fish in aquaponics, uh, the flesh is probably going to be uh, white, except if you use some uh, fish food that has some colorant inside where we, you're going to be able to improve, to increase and to, uh, yeah, to increase the, the pink color uh, on the flesh of the fish. So in a farm trout, basically, we grow the trout with classic fish food, so the same we use in aquaponics, and during the last months before, uh, before harvesting the fish, that's when we're going to start to use the colorant inside uh, the fish food. So it's artificial, it's not really good, uh, and it doesn't really add any flavor to the, uh, to the finished product. So if you, if you want to produce something that is healthy, if you want to produce the best product, basically, just avoid this type of colorant, you don't mind. Uh, the fish is going to have a white color, but it's not going to affect uh, the quality in terms of uh, flavor and of texture of your fish. I hope it responds to your question and I hope now you're going to enjoy eating some white flesh trout. If you have any question about this specific topic, please leave your comments uh, in the comment section just below the video. Don't forget to give a like if you enjoy this little tip and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to receive all the new videos of the channel. You can also get access to a six step guide to build your own aquaponics setup. It's a free training that I offer into the description of this video just below. Thank you for watching the video, see you in the next one and bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!